Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and you're watching a junction stop valve created in the part design and generated shape design workbench in KTWA 5. So for the assembly, the assembly design workbench was used. So uh, basically I'm going to uh, do a walkthrough uh, through all the different parts that, that was used uh, to create the assembly of uh, this particular junction stop valve. So as you know, the junction stop valve uh, regulates the flow of a fluid and diverts uh, its direction of flow as well. So these uh, junction stop valves are often mounted uh, directly on the bo boilers to control the flow of uh, steam from them. So uh, basically the parts which were uh, used for this particular assembly was uh, the body. So that's the main part, then the valve seat and the valve, valve holder. Uh, wall spindle, pin, cover, then hexagonal uh, bolt of M20. So M20 and I uh, can see the uh, lock nut and uh, another bolt over here. So then the T-bolt and uh, you can see the T-bolt is inside over here. So I'll be showing you in detail about the assembly later. So this uh, tutorial is going to help the uh, the intermediate designers to uh, do the design if, the, if at all they're having some uh, 3D perspective problem. So uh, goes like the gland ring. This is a gland ring here, and the gland and uh, the hexagonal nut of M12, and top spindle, quarter uh, screw spindle, and the collar stud bridge, hexagonal nut of M30, bush hand wheel key, wood rough key, handle hexagonal nut of M20, washer M20 standard. So uh, totally there are uh, 29 parts. So all the parts you cannot see uh, from the outside of the design and uh, you will have to, you know, you will have to see the uh, sectional, uh, you know, sectionally you have to see, then only you can find the uh, different parts all over so I'm going to uh, give a sectional view for this so so you can select the section plane or uh, you know the section slice if you're selecting section slice you have two options like two planes are there which you can control so basically I'm going to use the section plane and I'm going to do the volume cut for this and I'll click on OK and you can see uh, the parts which were not visible for you is, uh, uh, is properly visible on this particular uh, view right, right here so uh, these are the different parts that was used so as I said this is the body here and uh, this is the body here and uh, this is the valve seat here and the valve on top holder over here and this one uh, which goes uh, long over here is the uh, valve spindle and after that what you can see over here uh, these are uh, not this is the bolt and uh, these are lock nut and uh, uh, another uh, normal hexagon nut and uh, washer is here and uh, again over here this one is uh, what do you call the gland ring and on top of that is a gland here so uh, several parts you won't be able to find it unless and until you to use uh, this view here
So I hope you're uh, getting an idea about uh, the different parts of uh, this particular uh, junction stop. It's a pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, big assembly here, and uh, memorizing the different parts uh, is a little bit of a uh, difficult task. So. As I rotate uh, around, uh, you should be uh, having a closer look and uh, the look whatever you want to do your design completely. So you have the top spindle here. This uh, whatever is going uh, long over here is the top spindle, and outside you have another figure here. Screw spindle, and uh, you have something over here. This is the hand wheel, and uh, here is the bridge. So I'll be rotating it uh, very slowly so that uh, you guys can have a look properly in the design. This is the front view, the side view here. So I'll disable the sectional view here. And uh, on top we have uh, the lever. that you have the uh, nut and between you have a small washer so basically for washers uh, you can give a thickness of three so uh, uh, I hope uh, this particular video that I created is gonna help uh, you guys who wanted to uh, know about the junction stop valve or whoever have googled the uh, keyword junction stop valve they might have got a proper uh, look on the junction stop valve all the dimensions which was used to create this is according to the uh, standard uh, dimensions and uh, this design is perfect in all the aspects so I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you uh, I hope this uh, video has helped you to uh, you know uh, get an idea about uh, the junction stop valve design so uh, thank you so much subscribe me like my videos uh, ask me doubts thank you so much for watching